Hello traders, this is Elizabeth Bilugina and you are watching the daily stock market review by Tradimo. It's Thursday the 16th of May and as you can see from the chart, S&P 500 index managed to return above the 50-day moving average around 28.69 and if it manages to fix above this level, the next target on the upside will lie at 29.20. And final resistance is at 29.55 in the area of the previous record high. There are a lot of news related to trade, um, to trade, and some of the news are positive, some are negative. On the plus side. Uh, Bloomberg reported that Trump would postpone by up to six months a decision on car tariffs that was due by Saturday and that cheered up the euro and US stock market on Wednesday. On the downside, trade tensions between the United States and China uh, do escalate as Trump moved to curb uh, the access to the U.S. market and American suppliers for Chinese tech giant Huawei Technologies. And surely that may make uh, trade talks between Washington and Beijing even more complicated. Still, the market believes that ultimately the countries will manage to reach some deal and uh, if not, the stock market is supported by the fact that traders expect uh, the Federal Reserve to cut interest rate in case we get a deterioration in global economic data. And uh, if we look at the data which were released on Thursday, housing starts and unemployment claims in the United States turned out to be better than expected and that supported stock market as well. Finally, the biggest positive impulse for stocks was related to the company's earnings. The earnings season is still here and there were some companies which managed to beat the market expectations. One of the companies is Cisco. Here the company um, released an upbeat sales forecast and the network gear maker said that it has actually minimal exposure to China and uh, managed to make some changes in its supply chains that uh, reduced uh, impact from trade tensions. So this surely represents good news for Cisco and for other tech companies. The impact may be positive as well. So we can see a bullish gap, we can see an increase in price above the 50-day moving average, which is now acting as support around 54.25. We reached 78.6% Fibonacci retracement of um, the decline from April to May. And uh, we need to get above this level to get to the highest level around 57.50 and uh, past that level, the psychological level of 60 will be the next target for the company. Another stock and another company which um, released positive results was Walmart. And um, the company reported the best um, same-store sales growth in the first quarter uh, during the last nine years. The company also mentioned that uh, prices for shoppers will increase due to higher tariffs on Chinese imports. All in all, we see that um, the movement to the upside continues. There was a correction to the downside. Now uh, the stock managed to overcome the level and uh, we need to see a close above uh, the area of 101.20 for the stock to remain on the positive territory. The increase above 104 is needed to open the way uh, for further upside. 
Finally, let's have a look at some other stocks. Apple faces uh, resistance in the form of 200 day moving average around 192.40. And a break above this level is needed to bring us to another important resistance in the area of 198. Uh, so far, uh, re this resistance looks strong enough, so uh, it's possible that the stock won't be able to make it if uh, trade tensions between the United States and China remain uh, intense and keep escalating. And Apple is, of course, vulnerable to some retaliatory action from China. Finally, Boeing is uh, trading below various resistance levels uh, 351 and 363 we can see the negative intersection of moving averages and all in all the stock will be vulnerable to the decline to the next fibonacci level in the area of 325 this is all for today thank you for your attention and subscribe to tradimo youtube channel